Now you are hearing the voice of my thoughts every time I, am, I uh, would like to make a move in a chess game. That voice usually takes me and us all into a journey that started from a long, long time. When I was a kid, I was playing with the chess pieces every time. I'm that into chess, actually, because of my father that I used to look at him playing chess with a full confidence and a full passion, wisdom. I grew, up, I grew up with the lessons that I learned from his friend, the chess wise man. That man, I used to play with him and beat me, actually. The scenario was every time as the following. I used to make a move that confident and fast, in contrary with his boring and slow one. The situation stay as is, till his voice came from the hell, saying that, son, invasion has begun. The worst situation is that point. When my pieces were kicked out one after another, and in no time, I have been defeated. I couldn't stop thinking about what really happened in that moment. Is that because of my openings, tactics, or the 007 opponent that I'm playing with? The thoughts keep rushing through my head till I found this, this, all the answers that I need, which after a while become an activity that I used to share with my friends and with my students that I used to share with them all the lessons I learned in chess. The activity normally started when I uh, used to give a piece of chess for everyone in the room one for each. Uh, the majority I used to give them a pawn, which is the lowest value of the chess. And the rest I used to give them rocks, knights, bishops, which has better values actually. Then I asked them, if someone said to you that your value is equal to the value of the piece of chess that you hold in your hand, what would you think? The pawn guys got angry. Why we have no value? Others, feeling that confident uh, with a sneaky smiles. In, so let me illustrate the things for you. Everyone in this room has a value. Whatever the value is, it has an effect if it's still alive on the board. You underestimate yourself when you say no value. Everyone has that value. Whatever the value it is, even if it's that little, if it will be replaced on the chessboard, it can change the course of the game, and definitely it will. So, no openings without you, Pone. No tactics without you. Nothing without you. No life without you. So it becomes a matter of just holding that value, whatever it is, whatever, and stand out there, looking after, looking for all the problems and obstacles that you face in this life and you will. Then you will make a move, your first move. That move, with a good planning and for thought, you will keep stepping forward. One step after another, overcoming all the obstacles that you will face till you reach the end. When you reach that point, 
you will surprisingly realize that all these obstacles were life experience that reshaping you to become what you wanted to be and even better. Now I can remember the sneaky smiles. Don't overestimate yourself. Your value, if it's overestimated, it will put you in a, a big trouble. Every one of us created with weaknesses. If you ignore it, it will increase your vulnerabilities, kick you out, and then no more value for you. No value. So you need, in life, as in chess, you need to look around you and to find someone who can protect you and cover your back. In chess, I learned that a pawn and a bishop, when they stand side by side, they will create unbreakable link. If an opponent try to break that link, he will got losses indeed. So in chess, the board is, is the land that we are standing on. You will find the people who will protect you on that land. Those people will share you a big dream, that big dream that we all sharing in chess is represented as a king. All the pieces are trying to protect him, pursuing him. So I'm not that much agree with the philosopher who, usually, who said once that I hate chess because of the idea that everyone in, everybody in the game are dying for the king to live. It's not all about that. It's about, it's never about the king. It's about the goals, the dreams, things that we are sharing together. It's not about the king. I know that every one of us having his own dream. But be sure, your dream, if it's in, if it integrated with others, it will draw a wonderful, fabulous, big dream that belongs to all, and all are fighting for that. The last thing I would like, the last thing when a game ended, we all returning for the same box. That box will become an evidence to show us what we already did, what we already do on the board. Everyone do his best, whatever the value is. He did something out there And the last thing I would like to share with you, actually, is a message for all our kings, men. I want to whisper this. Remember that the strongest person in this life who can protect you and take care of you is a queen. Try to find one if you don't have to, because you don't want to have one. If you have, if you have one, be that close. Stay that close to your queen. She's the one who will protect you. And for our queens, ladies, try to choose the king who deserve to fight for him and to spend your whole life pursuing him to protect him.
It's not just a game. It's all about your value and who you really are. And how to participate with all other people in drawing that fabulous big dream. Invasion has begun, son. Checkmate. Thank you.